Hi guys, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can create the dynamic measure within the Tableau. So if you remember from my previous videos, we have created one field which is sort by to sort the values by a measure of our selection. So if I click over here and click on edit, you will see that I have given three different measure profit, sales and discount for this free for this parameter sort by and uh, idea was that if I am showing it into a parameter control then whatever I am selecting my value should be sorted here but in this example which I am showing you I will be using this field sort by to dis change the aggregation based on what my selection is so if I select profit here it should come sum of profit if I select sales the sum of sales and if I'm selecting discount then average discount based on the calculation definitely uh, which we have to specify so for some time just uh, uh, you know forget this name sort by and think like uh, select a measure like we have it over here so uh, then after creating the sort by we had, what we had created earlier is the sorted measure there we had specified the, um, the calculations so if I go ahead and edit it here is the um, sort by uh, parameter that I'm taking which is this and based on what I'm selecting in this sort by when I'm selecting sales then it is giving me some of sales when I'm selecting profit then it is giving me some of profit finally it is average of discount which is a final expression as well as the final parameter value over here so think like sorted measure is something like a selected measure and what I will do is just remove this and put it over here right and now both my dimension as well dimension as well as measure is um, automated because if I want I can just select category and my categories change and if I want that I don't want discount but I want sales here is my sales here is my profit and let's say I want to see profit for my subcategory then here is my profit or by product name then here is my product name and uh, the aggregation probably sales so this way you can further achieve the uh, uh, you know dynamic behavior from your dashboards or reports by having both the dimension as well as uh, measures as your dynamic behavior and you are giving the control to the end user where they can select whatever they want and on the fly um, while the dashboard in your production so that's pretty much about it and uh, if you have not seen this video where I showed you how you can create a dynamic dimension and it's a previous video I just uploaded, I think a day before. So you can go ahead and watch it. And now I will meet you in the new video when we talk.